What's going on YouTube? 3G Racing here coming back at you with another video today. And we have some fun stuff planned for today's video. I got a whole bunch of new uh, interior pieces I'm putting on the Eclipse. And later on today, I think I'm gonna do a separate video for it, but I'm putting on a new intake manifold and we're gonna get it tuned. So the car should be ripping after that, but let's get right into the action. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I picked up these custom uh, BMW-style uh, mirrors for the car. I want to get them cleaned up, maybe uh, finish them, I uh, guess get them all glossy again. But here they are. They come with all these extra wires, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult of an install than I thought. But getting the actual mirrors in, just plug and play, so that should be easy. And then I have these two um, Eclipse little side pieces for inside the door jam. Uh, I don't have them on my car right now. They just have, they're just uh, black, so... After I get these cleaned up, that should be a solid upgrade. And I'm going to just throw the seat back in it just because I'm tired of having nothing in the car, as you can see. And then throw the spoiler back on. Uh, just get it all cleaned up, ready to go, show worthy. So, yep. All right, y'all. So, we're going to start by uh, just cleaning these up and we're going to swap these onto the car first. So, All right guys, so I finished cleaning this one up and this one turned out pretty well. Uh, it looks pretty clean for the most part, but then uh, come over to this one here and this is all just like, I don't even know. It's just uh, messed up on the little plastic piece there. It looks like it's like melted almost. So I'm not gonna be able to get that out, but I mean, it still looks cool. Maybe, I, maybe I'll paint it, but. All right guys, so now they're ready to throw on the car. So we're gonna open up this uh, driver's side door over here and uh, start prying this one off, so. Yeah, so all you gotta do to get these off, it's really simple. Pretty much just pry something right under there. Let's see if I can, uh, yeah, just like that. And then they'll just all pop out, just like that. You gotta be real careful not to break anything. But yeah, look, look at that. It's already ready to come out pretty much. I think there's just a uh, little screw up here. So let's double check that. Ouch. No, it's not even a screw. It literally just slides right out. So, yeah. All right, all. Then this is real easy too. All you gotta do is line it up in here, and just slide it right in there, and then it should just click in here. There we go. It's stuck on some carpet up there, but yeah. There we go. There's the new uh, side door panel there. All right, y'all, so there it is. Uh, this side's a little bit roughed up, too, honestly. Could barely see it in the sun, but now it's in the shade. You can kind of see it. So, like I said, be able to just paint over those. But uh, it's in the car. I'm going to throw the seat in now, and then we're going to do the mirrors next. So, uh, And then before I forget, I also have a new top piece up there. As you can see, that one's cracked. So I got a new one of those that should uh, match that a little bit better. And then we'll get it all dusted up, cleaned up, and ready to go. It is hot out today, y'all. I'm trying to get this car ready for SCCA next weekend, and hopefully we make it. If not, I'll just take the 3K, but I'm really trying to push this deadline because this car is way more fun to drive. It's faster than 3,000, so we should be able to compete a little bit better in our class, but I really want to get it done, so I'm trying to crank all this out for you guys, get it tuned during the week, and then get some racing videos next weekend. But we'll, we'll for sure get some regardless because we're going to take this car, 3,000, or the Camaro right over here. So here's the Camaro. It's, it's all pretty much done up, ready to go. We got the helmet in there, uh, full. It's, it's running, driving. Uh, I have a short posted of it, if you guys wanna listen to it, but yeah, she's ready to rip. We just gotta get a trailer set up for it and we'll be good to go and hopefully race two cars at SCCA next weekend. Yeah, so I got the seat in the car. I just need to tighten up these bolts. I'm pretty sure they're all just 14 millimeters. There's two in the back, two in the front. Really easy to get it in there, so. I'm gonna go grab the uh, wrench and then we'll tighten them down. All right, so the seat is now uh, strapped up in there. She's in there nice and tight. Uh, let me tell you, the car looks so much better with both uh, seats actually in it. It looks very ugly without, but weight reduction for the track is all I really care about. But I'm not going for another month or so with this car besides that CCA, so I figured might as well just put them back in there. But yeah, it's coming along good. Next up, we're gonna do the mirrors and some more uh, odds and ends in the interior. So stay tuned all right guys so i have the mirror here i have it up next to the stock mirror honestly i think i might like the stock mirror more i'm gonna try just throwing it on see how i like it but yeah i don't, I don't know all right y'all so take off this mirror it's really easy all you gotta do is take off this bolt here this bolt here and then follow it up you take off this uh plastic piece after you take off the um little speaker there the tweeters 
and then you'll just take off that last bolt and then this just slides right out of here all right my bad guys you actually you have to take this little uh connection off too you just have to slide it out from this door panel in there so you'll have to take off the door panel if you want to do that properly all right guys so i got the new mirror on here and honestly i really i really don't like it it kind of makes it look like it's uh i don't even know i don't know how to describe it but let's take a look at it from the back here it like kind of like sticks up huh and uh here's how the other side looks just for comparison i mean personally i think i like the way the stock one looks better i feel like that looks kind of goofy so I'll probably uh, just list these back up for sale. If anybody wants them, let me know. I paid 300 for them, so that's probably what I'll be looking to uh, get back. Um, it's got like a little, I might be carbon fiber in there, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're very rare. You can't really find them, which is why I got them. I just wanted to test it out, but I think I'm going to have to pass on having those on the car. So I think I'll just put the uh, stock one back on there and we'll just leave it at that. All right, so I decided I'm just going to stick with the stock mirrors. Honestly, I don't like how those aftermarket ones look on the car. Um, I'm sure they look good on some cars. I just personally, I don't like it on mine. So I'm just going to stick with the stock ones. So we're going to throw those back on and get back to work on other stuff. All right, y'all. So I got this little uh, centerpiece off. Now, this is a hard part. I always crack these taking them out. So I really don't know the proper way to do it. Yep, there that goes. Okay, so I, ju I just yanked uh, this one out here. And as you can see cracked cracked uh all came out of there but yeah these are a pain to get out they're always uh so brittle from the sun and yeah it did not come out too pleasant there all right so as you guys can see it looks like these little tabs that go in here are uh, broken on this so we're just gonna have to slide it in and hope it uh hope it stays there let's uh take a look just slide it in up top first there's a little hole back there you got to get it in and then after that and it kind of just slides in there looks like we're uh pretty firm so that should that should do the trick right there. there's a little little gap there maybe just have to uh put some glue in there or something to get it to stick but it seems to be there all right we'll uh throw this center piece back in and see how it works all right guys so we got that all in ready to go and uh it looks a lot better honestly it helped out the car it's a darker black though than the rest which kind of throws off the look a little bit but it matches this piece here so we're just gonna roll with it for now and maybe put a new dash in it eventually because i hate how this is blue and the rest is like blackish but yeah honestly it's nice not having to crack the top piece up there all right y'all so just do the spoiler back on i keep <laughs> i keep misplacing the bolts so we're on like our fifth set of bolts for where i uh for how many times i've taken it off and put it back on i keep forgetting where i put them so goodness i thought i left them in the car but they weren't there so we're on our uh fifth set now probably but yeah she's uh all bolted up ready to go all right guys so i think we got everything i wanted to get in this video uh done uh we got the um new we got well not the new seat we got the seat back in the uh little top center console uh clock basil up there um we got the spoiler back on uh, we tested the mirrors i wasn't a big fan of how they turned out so they're gonna be up for sale if anybody wants them but i think that's gonna be it then for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed um uh, make sure you catch the next video it's either gonna be uh at the track scca or we're going to be um swapping that intake manifold so make sure to like subscribe all this stuff and i'll see you on the next video peace